because this is before we thought like this is before I had gotten like really really bad COVID and um so I thought like oh this will be over within a couple of months but it's not Hello and welcome to the Weirdest Kingdom on this side of YouTube. I'm Princess Adia, aka Adia, and welcome to my channel. This was supposed to be my back to school haul, but I'm going, I'm back to school, but like not on campus. So like a lot of these clothes I got for like specific reasons of where we're supposed to go to college. I was, a lot of these clothes I bought were supposed to go for like Ithaca's very cold, colder than New York City. So a lot of these clothes are supposed to be for warmth. I got a lot of warmer clothes so I don't actually have that many just in general. I thought I didn't have that many sweaters and then I like put them all in one drawer and I realized I do have like a good amount of sweaters actually. I just don't wear them that often. The first item is, I've already worn these, some of these clothes are already worn and I had to take them out of the dirty clothes. But the first dress is this dress here. It is, I'm pretty sure some of you have already seen this dress but it is the Pusheen dress. It is a sweater dress, it's fleece on the inside. And on the front, you can see it says so lazy with Pusheen laying on, the, laying down, like laying on a side, being a little sleepy cat. Um, there's, it's fleece on the inside, so it's super soft, it's very warm, um, and there are pockets. And it is kind of oversized, I got this in a medium, and usually I go for dresses in like a large, sometimes extra large depending on, or medium depending on the fit, or small. With lazy with dresses, I can really go from like, a range of sizes yes I got that on sale I think it was another like holiday I kind of been getting these things throughout the summer I haven't been just like going one going through like one shop I just kind of been slowly getting things out this summer like, the next thing I got actually is from Target it is the love a dress from the love shack fancy collection I actually wore this in my book haul that I just posted um, I don't know when this video will be going up but I just posted that and so I wore this in there. It also has pockets. I've been looking for a lot of dresses that have pockets. I also got this on sale for half price basically. Um, in the store they didn't have it like when it scanned it was like oh it's full price and I showed them on the Target app that it was half price and then I was like she's like oh yeah okay and so I got it. She price matched it. That's a small actually and it fits fine. A little tight in like the boob area but I don't gain weight in my boobs really. That's like the last last place to gain weight. So um, the next thing these are more clothes. I've already worn the dress the dresses I'm showing you've already worn them, so that's why I'm showing you them first. I can put them back in my hamper. Um so I just recently wore this. It is a lazy oak dress. It is the not working long sleeve dress. I'm working on hopefully getting the don't bother me dress, don't bother dress, because I found it on Depop. Two sellers, so I have two different sellers that I possibly could get it from. Um, I'm willing to pay just about almost anything, but not crazy, so. I got this. It's in a small, I got this off of actually eBay, an eBay seller. I have been taking a look at eBay and like, though my problem with eBay is that their shipping rates for if you're international and buy something from someone who's in England, like these stuff I've got from people who live in England, they, um extremely like it does like it adds like $30 onto the price so like this was like $60 and I had to pay like 90 because of the shipping and I also bid on it I think and then I have this dress this is the lazy of lime green um daisy dress yeah this is a daisy yeah a daisy dr daisy dress um this one is in a large and I also got this off of eBay. The next thing is this cardigan I got from, I got recently, I made it, I shot, bought things from Mod Clock the first time because I do like their like whole thing, like some, I like some of the clothes, but I haven't really bought anything from them. And the sweater, this really cute cardigan, I think I first saw it on Monica Kim or she might have gotten it from ASOS somewhere or something like that and I saw a similar one on Mod Cloth because the one on ASOS got sold out really quick. And this one, I think this is a small, this is small, but it's oversized and it's cropped. It's like sort of cropped cardigan. It's so cute. It's so, like, I just love it. I feel so cute in it. And, um, it, I got it on sale, I think, for $14. And I think it was like $60, $40 or something like that. So, I don't know, really good price. And it's so warm, so. Um, next thing. 
I got this off of Depop. This is a Lazy Oak shirt. I got it for $30. It's just one of the, I think people have seen this, it's just their gingham blue shirt with these pink buttons on them. It's in a small medium and it should fit because it's a little bit oversized. The person did say, I will say the fit is a bit oversized so hopefully it'll work. But I'm kind of sad because I got it to wear with this dress. This Lazy Oaf slip dress. It's the Dream On slip dress. I know there's a princess one. It's the Dream On slip dress. I got it in a small because the person said it fit like a medium and I knew I could still fit into mediums. It doesn't fit at all. It definitely does fit like a small because if it was a medium, it'd be a little bit tight, like kind of tight. This is extremely tight. I can barely even fit it over my hips. Next thing, I don't know why I went to order, but this is another dress from Mod Cloth. It is this awesome, like 60s inspired mod um, dress. If you can see, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but there's like a little bit of like tinsel glitter, like silver glitter in it. The sleeves are bell sleeves and they're sheer. They're sort of like sheer and kind of see-through. And this is in a size 10. I haven't tried it on yet, but it should fit because it's a size 10 and that's my size. Like there's no more in between a small, a large, medium. I'm completely in large and extra large between those two sizes. So this is amazing. There are no pockets and I also did get this on sale with their Labor Day weekend thing, so. When Mod Cloth, I realized that they do sell, like sometimes they'll have like specific items and they'll sell like multiple different variations of that item for people with different tastes. Um, and two of the items that I bought were things that they had in many different um, looks. And I wasn't really sure about the one one of these dresses because um, I really kind of wanted to get the skirt or they had a pair of pants. I was like, I need more pants and those were some nice pants. But I was like, I think the dress will be work fine for you. So it feels like linen, but I know it's not linen. It definitely probably is cotton. So this is... Yes, there is linen. The dress itself is linen and there's viscose. And then the lining is 100% cotton. So it is this like sweetheart neckline. And then the back is like these cross straps. There are pockets, these really big like pockets like these. Sort of like that romper I have from Urban Outfitters that I got on sale like I think like a year ago. So this is really cute. I just love it. And I really think it'd look cute with like some sweaters underneath it or whatever. So this next one is a another dress. This is a another like vintage, I think maybe 50s or 60s inspired, like straights, like ship dress. It doesn't have any pockets, and this is also another had variation. So they had like a skirt version and then like another like kind of dress version, and I really wasn't clicking with it. I really like the print, but the dress in the like the print of the dress in those different styles of dresses and skirts, whatever, just wasn't really cutting it for me. Like one of the skirts, I was like, okay, maybe I'll get it. But then I saw this, and it also has like white in like when I like a, con a creator, like Instagram creator that I really like, Aw Sam. She was wearing it and she had like this nice like collar, like she's wearing it in a way that I'd actually wear it. And so that's why I was like, oh my god, I love this. And I was thinking about like wearing my Lazy Elf like turtleneck Esther Bunny one with this. I feel like it'd be really cute, nice pattern clash. But yes, I don't really have any lime green dresses. Like literally these are the ones from Lazy Elf and this one. This is like my first and like only lime green dress that I have in my closet, so. Also another thing that I was doing is I was going and getting new clothes, like new pieces. Not like getting, re-getting pieces I already had in my closet but in larger sizes because they don't fit anymore. They didn't fit really fit while I was wearing them. This here, I got this Forever 21 top that I have. You've probably seen it before, I've worn it in videos. I just got it in a larger size. My shirt was in a small because when I saw it in the store, there was only a small. And so that's what I got and I've been shoving, like just kind of squeezing myself into it. I'm going to sell it and get, you know, sell it for the same, around the same price this person sold it to me. But I got it in a large, I have a long sleeve one. And then I know there's a short sleeve one because I really wanted a one that I could wear in the summertime or at least when it's not that warm and um, not be dying of heat exhaustion, basically. So I got the short, like, the short sheath one as well. Next thing I got was these pants. They're, um, they're not really pants. Like, these are from Sugar Thrills from Doll's Kill, but I got this from Depop. And I got them in an extra large, and they fit. They're kind of little, they have some, like, room to it, but they fit. I thought these were gonna be, like, actual, like, pants pants. 
like in a pants materials. This is definitely more like leggings. And so I was very confused when I saw them, but I'm not going to complain about it. They fit, and these are capris, and they have these little slits in the back, and they're cute, so. I also got a another Sugar Thrills item. It was the cl the pink cloud skirt, but um, it's too big. I got it in a 1X because I know that it's kind of small, so I thought that I should just size up. But I don't, I think I should either look for an extra large or a 0X at least. The 1X is extremely big. So uh, my mom was like, you need a new sh like sh jacket. The other ones don't keep you warm enough. I don't think they keep you warm enough. You need an actual like, puffer coat jacket, whatever. And so I got one. And I found one on ASOS. That is this really cute pink, purple, and blue like pastel puffer coat. There isn't a, a hood, unfortunately, but it's you, you pick and choose um i really love this coat it is actually very very warm like it's warmer than my other coats but i definitely be wearing the other ones more than this puffer coat just because i really like those coats they're a lot more like fashionable um this is from someone like a, a fan like a, i guess they're related to us so family She's a family member of ours she runs like this like sort of like online store a small business and she does like she like prints things onto shirts or whatever and so she made me a shirt with my school with Ithaca's name on it because the thing is Ithaca's colors are like blue and white like navy like a dark like royal blue or white that's not really my thing and also I the prices for college m merchandise is extremely outrageous for the amount of money that I'm going I pay in tuition plus getting things for classes because I'm not going to be on campus and then I have to pay you want me to pay money like $60, $70 for a sweatshirt with Ithaca's name on it and that's not even in a color that I like so I was like no so I have a pink like a nice like kind of fluorescent pink shirt that has Ithaca on it that's Ithaca College on it and then I have then I got this sweatshirt and it's a light blue sweatshirt it's in a 2XL because I do like getting my hoodies like oversized so this is a hoodie with Ithaca College on it it's a simple hoodie. It has pockets in the front. Um, now we're getting on to some more, like, strictly, these are things Lazio, really, not Lazio, these are strictly, like, ASOS things. There's one Disney thing in here that I got for my birthday. The first thing is from Disney, and I got it for my birthday, Dis the Disney, Shop Disney, and I had it on my, I had it in my cart for a while now. I had it, like, in my wish list, and I wanted to wait, and I waited, and it was on sale for, like, about $20 less. I think there's also like some other thing that's getting it's like my mom bought this for me for my birthday. I was like, please just get it for me quickly now before it goes out of stock. This is this Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt. It's so cute. It has these pastel um, sleeves. The sleeves are this is like a mint green bluish kind of color. It's coming a bit more blue, but it's almost like a sea foam blue color. And then this yellow. And then on the back it says Winnie the Pooh. It's so cute, isn't it? I low-key feel like this is something you'd get at like Disney Japan and that Disney just like, I think our American fans would like them. That's the annoying thing about like the shop Disney websites. Like they'll have completely different things on like the certain sites for different countries. And like Disney Japan definitely has better like, like more cute kawaii things. Cause I feel like that's just like kind of Japan's whole like tourist like pushing aesthetic at least and so there's more of that there than there is on Disney in America. There are a lot of t-shirts on there and a lot of sweatpants and I don't like sweatpants because my thighs are kind of big and they make me feel very uncomfortable in between my thighs when they rub together so I hate sweatpants and they're just I just don't like them. Um, the next thing, the rest of the stuff that's in here are from, um, ASOS, I'm com if I'm completely sure. If ASOS, ASOS, I'm not completely sure, they're kind of the same thing, I'm just saying the O differently, so. Um, this is from Monkey, 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 um, if I was, I heard that this is like H&M's, like, sister store, but like, they're European, like, more like, I don't know, like, it's their, I don't know. But I just got this, like, really cute pink daisy tote bag i definitely did not need this as like for school necessarily for like clothing wise but um i just really wanted it and it was super cute and it wasn't even that much money it was like ten dollars and then i got it on sale and it was like five or two or whatever it was just 
I just got it because I really liked it. Um, this one I was a little bit apprehensive about because I thought it was going to be lighter than it is. I'll just show it to you. I got another smock dress. It's this like purple smock dress with ruffled sleeves. It's in a size... It's a US 4. It actually is really big on me. And so it looks super big. So I got it in a... I got it size down. Alas. So these unfortunately do not have pockets. But it is... I think it also like comes up more lavender on camera. But it's a bit more dustier. Like a bit more like muted in a sense it's not like this like you can definitely tell the difference between, yeah see you can tell the difference between, like this is a bit more this is like true like pastel purple lavender and this is the next thing i have i actually have this in there from like last year but these are just a sweater another sweater this is a nice bright pastel pink sweater it is so soft i don't know what this like material is called for like sweaters but like i have my other like um pinkish like purple magenta like sweater from garage i've only ever shopped the garage like two times but like from garage this is like it's almost the same it's the same material it's so soft it's kind of plush it's just great and look at it's just a nice buttercup yellow um the next thing is from daisy street and this went out of stock last winter or like yeah like last winter earlier this year so around so and i saw it actually on queen jelly bean and i was like this is the cutest sweater it's so like almost tacky in a way like it feels like you definitely see it on like a wallpaper from like the 70s or the 80s mind you and it's like or a tablecloth of some sort if you went to your grandmother's house and it's a tablecloth it just is so like tacky and kitschy and just so cute it's this like lovely sweater with like fruits on them it's like there's bananas there's grapes i think these because you could say these are watermelons but they're just so oh they're so cute and it's so warm it's not like soft super soft but it is so warm it's just so cozy so i actually ordered from new girl new girl order and this is from their hello kitty one i'm sad the one that i also like the real one i really wanted was sold out but then i got the one that i wanted second best and I got this sweatshirt, their Hello Kitty sweatshirt. It has Hello Kitty on it. She's on a, she's like, it just says Hello Kitty, almost like a Bratz kind of thing, like those Bratz shirts you would see them wear, where it had like their symbol. Like I think one of them was Angel. Well, their names were Angel. I think it was Sasha or Jade who's Angel. And it like has Hello Kitty with some angel wings and a heart. And then on the sides, there's like, again, like very Bratz esque. These clouds and like hearts with angel wings on them i feel like these are like this reminds me a lot of like the brats i don't know why all of a sudden everyone's like super into oh my god there's so much like stuff from the clothes on you maple there's like i don't know why everyone's so all of a sudden like this repraise of the brats and like this y2k like like brats inspired like revival i love it I just want to know where it came from all of a sudden. Do you ever realize, like, the Bratz movie, like, the live action one, and then the animated film, like, they're nothing like their animated film. Maybe because of those girls, well, they were in high school in some of those movies. And they were also babies in some of those movies. The fashion is completely not the same. Like, they're a lot more fashionable in those, the animated film and stuff like that than they are in the live action i had been watching the animated ones because i used to watch this as a kid because i wasn't a barbie fan like that because everyone wanted to be like oh barbie you're a girl like barbie 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 and i didn't like barbie now i do like barbie a lot more than i do when i was a kid so lastly my last adv um ad accessory is this belt it is this cute lovely belt it's like um the seatbelt one where I used to hate these as a kid because I could never figure out how to get out of them when I need to use the bathroom. The amount of times as a kid that I almost peed myself trying to get out of these belts is ridiculous and I don't have enough hands to count. It has some bedazzling on it. I was kind of debating on whether or not to just take it off. Like I feel like it can easily just come off or just keep it on there. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. Now, the last two few things are things that I have been looking for actively for the past like year or so because I just can never find these. 
but they're leggings, like workout leggings. I have been looking for like leggings in colors that I've actually wear them in. It's like pastels or like these really cute like prints. Like there's some camera ones I have my eyes on. I have these pair, a pair of blue ones. These are super cute, comfortable. These are in a size US 10, UK 14, and these are super comfortable. They're not see-through, coincidentally, but I'm not going to be working out in these. I bought leggings so that when I go to college, I don't have to, I didn't have to wear um, pants. Or when it gets cold, I have something to put underneath my dresses. Just these pastel ones. They're from the ASOS 4505 line. I have been just trying to get more yellow stuff in my closet. And I found these, though I was just thinking about when I had to wear them because at the bottom, there is like this sheer like lace kind of fabric it kind of starts from up here I don't know if you can see that touch from like up here and then it goes works its way down completely to the end around the ankles I'm like thinking I would be freezing cold if I wore these yeah I got these in the US 10 UK 14 our last thing in this haul is these leggings now I like them I'm just gonna show them to you and tell you what my issue with these leggings are so these are leggings you can't really tell unless you go like super close. I don't know if you can see. But there's like glitter in them. There's glitter on the leggings. But these lavender leggings and they're in a size 12. And there's glitter on them and they're super cute. But I was worried because of the fact that there's glitter on them. I was worried that they were going to get itchy. And when you first put them on they're not itchy. But it does start to get itchy on my skin. The fabric is kind of thick. It's thick, but it's, you can still feel the, the spark, the, the glitter through it. And on top of that, I don't know who made the decision, but they put the glittery like parts of the fabric on the inside of the waistband. So it's definitely super itchy on my stomach and stuff. Um, yes, yeah, so that is it for my haul. This is kind of a long one. Like, this is, I think, the most clothes I've ever had in a haul. And this is like one of my first hauls in a while, other than my Depop haul. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Oh, Maple, you're sitting on my lap, and I can't get up to reach the camera. Can you guys see him? He's so cute right now. Also, this is the skirt I'm wearing. He's so cute. Nobody went to do that. Here, you got pink skin on me here. It's a good thing he is in a sphinx cat because I don't think Maple would do well as a sphinx cat. He's too crazy. Okay. Bye.